Why did mom drop us off so far away? <sighs> she just dropped us off at the wrong cabin. Don't worry though, we're almost there. Come on. Oh, I'm tired. Wow, they just had to make a grand entrance, didn't they? Ridiculous. I can't wait for the hayride tonight. Do you think there will be any monsters? Francis, stop it. There are no monsters here. Of course there are. Didn't you hear about the camp manager that got beheaded? Pinky, it's okay. There's no monsters here. Look. I don't know who you are, but you're scaring my sister. Well, it seems like your sister should stay at home. It seems like you maybe you should go home. I'm sure you can still catch up to your parents. They're still probably out there swinging for the trees. Hey, 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 are you serious? We just got here in a fight already? Fight? Pretty girls don't fight. We get even. Oh, I'm so scared. You should be. Up. You seem to be pretty loud earlier. Monica Chancellor. Ma'am. And you are? Pinky. Hmm. I don't see your name on our registration. When did you register? Um, I'm not sure. My mom registered us. I want to go home. Pinky, please. We can't go home. Mom flew to Canada before we got here. I assume this is not good. Well, if we don't have paperwork on you, we can't have you here. Can you reach out to your dad since your mom's in Canada? Daddy, Daddy! Thank you, please. Daddy is dead. He's not coming back. <laughs> He's not coming back. Family's from Canada, and we don't have any family here. My mom wants to... This is my grandmother. She's dying from cancer. Well, okay, girls. I understand this can be very frustrating. What we're going to do is we're going to have you two go back to the dorm, and I will reach out to my supervisor and let them know that you're here without paperwork to see what we can do. But we will get this all worked out for you, okay? Where in the heck is my mosquito repellent? I can't find it anywhere. All I can find are my socks. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Did you hear about the fight? What fight? Between Francis and the mystery girls. Mystery girls? Yes, those sisters showed up and they're not even on the roster. <laughs> Whatever, Jada. You always have your jokes. No, I'm serious. There's something weird about those girls. And if I were you, I would keep the good eye on them. Well, I don't see anything wrong with them, other than Frances finally meeting her match. She always finds another group of girls to bully every summer. I just want to see how this goes. No, I'm serious. There's something weird about those girls. Whatever. Hmm. I see. Well, the mother's on her way to Canada, on a flight to Canada, and the father is deceased. And the little girl freaked out when I asked about the father. I understand. Well, you know, um, the administration staff is gone. They leave at 5. Hang on a minute. Okay, gotcha. Monica, right? Yes, ma'am. Come in here.
We're trying to locate your mom. Do you have a number for her? Um, I have it in my pocket. Mom wrote it down for me since I can't remember with my phone. And we're not allowed to bring phones, so. We just don't use brain cells anymore, do we? <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I know it's very frustrating. We're going to locate your mom. What else is going to happen? Well, what we'll do tonight is we'll rest tonight and we'll pick this back up tomorrow, okay? Good, Good night. night. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Go? Where are you going, weirdos? Take some to no one freak. Oh, the crybaby speaks? Hey, stop. Stop. It's okay. Let's just go take a walk. Wow. Does she have superpowers or something? Did you see that movie with her? Look, y'all need to leave those girls alone. There's something weird about them. I, I agree with Jada. I really don't think this is a good idea. Well, you know, I don't like them. I'm gonna teach them to watch how they stand. Let's go take a walk. I don't I don't think it's a good idea. I'm going. That's not like a good old fight. I got my phone ready for this. I thought we're just have phone. Whatever. Here they go! Come on! them. I guess you won't be the black girl that dies first. But no, you wanted to be the camp bully. Shut up! You'll wake up the dead as loud as you're talking. I'm so sorry, Francis. You know this is your fault. Still friend. <laughs> it wasn't her the one that woke up the dead. It was you. I see you like bullying, huh? No, Monica, please. Oh, please? Wow, you have manners now? Wow, now you have manners? Do you want me to go get the other girls? Nah, they're fine. They probably already got a heart attack before they reach camp. <laughs> ah! Wait, 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 wait. This gotta be a joke. So you telling me you spoke to the mother and she told you her kids were deceased? And they died here 18 years ago? Are you sure? A bullying incident? What does that have to do with anything? So, they were bullied at school, and then they came to camp and got bullied also. Wow. So, how'd they die? They committed suicide after they were going to kill us. Wow. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. They, they just went to the woods. I gotta call the cop. Look, let me call you back, okay? 
Guess what? What's wrong? What's going on? That sounds like an important conversation. Look, we got to call the cops. That conversation sounded important. What happened? What's going on? It's more important than you think, and I think we need to call the exorcist. Is, you. <sighs> is it Jesus? No, it's me. So it must be God. It's it's me, Jada. Am I alive? Yes, you're alive. So bad people do live in the movies. <sighs> no, Jayla. Come on, let's go back to the camp. Oh no, not the scary music. Well, Lord, maybe down the street. Wait, it's me. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Well, look, you two stay together and head back to the campground, okay? Do me a favor, keep praying. Okay? Be careful. You think I want to carry that quickly? <laughs> I love the fear in your eyes. I've never killed anyone. No, oh, yes, you have. Every single post, every single lie, it has all killed someone. And you deserve to die. You killed my little sister by booing her. You murdered all those people. Monica, leave her alone. I want to go home. Let me rest. Leave her alone. No, I'm not going to stop. She killed all those people she bullied. She killed you. I want to go home. She I want to rest. No, she deserves to die for all the pain she's caused. I need her alone! Monica, wait! Let's do this. She killed my sister. Look, I, I know what happened 18 years ago, okay? You wanna, you wanna be set free, right? Let her go. No! She killed my sister. She didn't do and this. And all those other people she barely bullied. It wasn't her. Okay. Yes, it was. Please, please, you're right. I will never bully again. I've killed so many people with my mouth. Please, Monica, I promise I won't bully again. But what if she's lying? Then we can deal with her. I don't know, but I want to go. Okay, since you want me to live, You've been coming here for three years now. And your parents finally paid some actors headline mentors and performing arts to get you to learn your lesson. Bullying is not cool. Especially on uh, haunted campgrounds. This is bullying. <laughs> oh wow. Um oh. is she is she oh. Oh.